Hi guys, Harun here from Enterprise DNA and I'm bringing you challenge number 13. Um, so yeah, we had, we had an awesome time last time out. Um, some absolutely fantastic, fantastic um, solutions across the board, you know. So some great data modeling um, and what was a really tricky data set. So, so well done to everyone who participated. Um, and there was also the standout entry for, from the experts. Um, so much to, to learn from that for, for anyone who's looking at the visualization side. Um, and especially the mapping, you know, and another big shout out for um, the course from one of our experts, um, Paul. Um, you know, if, if you guys are serious about looking at anything to do with mapping or, or longitude, latitude, you know, plot, plotting distances, um, you know, t take a look. It, it, it's some seriously cool stuff um, and you can get super advanced. And, it, and it's all within Power BI. Um, you know, there, there's a couple of add-ins you, you need to go off and get, but the majority of the work you, you can just do with native Power BI, um, which is awesome. Um, a few custom visuals, but yeah. So this week's challenge, um, something that's probably overlooked a lot. Um, and, and I think it's overlooked because Power BI is kind of positioned as a business facing tool. And, and those of us from, from a, a more technical IT background will, will be used to documentation, you know. Um, it's something we do day in, day out, um, whether it's requirements or coding in SQL, you know, you, you have to put comments in and, and it gets put into stuck um, in, into your GitHub repositories or if you're using Team Foundation Server and Visual Studio, et cetera. Uh, and it's kind of got a standard process. Um, whereas I think we, we, with Power BI, actually document documentation is the, the last thing on your mind i think because it's so easy to you know just start creating pages and and chucking stuff on there once you've got the data in it, it kind of becomes an afterthought as to you know um okay how, how can i easily document all of the measures that i've got in there the tables that i've got in there the relationships um without having to come into every single file um and as i said it, it it's not something you want to do, especially if it's an onerous task and, and you're kind of um, going to gonna probably spend longer than, than what you've spent developing it. So um, hopefully this challenge is about exploring what you, what you guys currently do for, for your, your documentation. And um, a couple of things that, that I've come across in my work and, and hopefully um, I want to bring bring to your attention a really cool tool, um, an external tool that, that can actually automate all this. So let's get stuck into it. So what I've got here is your standard financial report, um, literally taken from, from Enterprise DNA. I haven't done anything to it. Um, and, and you know what, I, I picked it because I knew that there's quite a bit going on here. You know, I've got a few supporting tables. I've got the measure tables. I've got decent relationships um, for, for me to think about. Um, uh, and, and I now, you know, want to get into a position where, where I can document this. Um, and the first thing I'll, I'll kind of show you is the actual external tool. Um, and, and this is not a prerequisite for this challenge or anything like that, but I think it'll definitely highlight what why something like this, it, it can just make everything so much easier. Um, if you can install it and use this for, for the challenge, I would definitely advise you to do that. Um, because what one of the asks is actually, you know, how, how can we improve what's what's already a brilliant tool and, and spits out uh, a brilliant template? Um, how, how can we take that a step further? You know, um, the the tool itself com comes from um, a gent named uh, Mark. Um, very cool. Is you know, is the full. M I think he's an MVP. Um, does a lot of cool stuff. So 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 check him out. Um, and what he's developed is a um, using a. Uh, PowerShell script um, uh, and a little bit of automation. He, he's managed to basically uh, help us spit out the information which which he thinks you need in document. It's not everything. It, it, it's you know it's it's a start off a ten. It, it gives you a lot of the stuff that that you're going to want to um, know. Um, so definitely worth checking out. Um, I, I know myself and the expert team. It, it's not straightforward um, to to kind of get it implemented. Um, you might have to play around with a few of your admin settings, but but once you've got it got it up and running, um, it it really is a fantastic tool. And and I'd also check out um, Brian's earlier video because it is available in the in the business ops um, toolkit. So so you can literally download it from from there as well if you're used to that. 
Um, so for, back to Power BI. So uh, I've literally finished my development. Uh, I'm now at the, the stage of, right, okay, this is ready to be published. And actually, before it can be published, IT are asking me, where is your documentation? Now, I know you could open up that studio and tabular editor and you, and you could extract certain measures and blah, blah, blah. But actually, it, it's still a few tasks rather than just getting it all in one place. So what this document that, that's the document sorry missing the word. A document model does is if i hit that so it actually just creates a powershell script and what it's doing in the background is it's creating what is a pbit file so a power bi template file it's then going into the back extracting all of the relevant information so your measures your tables uh last modified date there's a whole host of information and i kind of walk you through how how we how to get to that without using the tool as well um so i know some some of you in in your, in your work environments etc won't be able to um access external tools so you're probably thinking you know oh it, it's fine when you've got all these fancy tools but we're not allowed to use open source so hopefully i can show you a method of extracting that without the need for for, for mark's tool so you saw that powershell script come up and then it basically ask you for a little path um, just hit load um, and that's basically what, where you've stored your um, credentials or your, or your JSON file for, for your external tools um, and then what it does are it spits out uh, an absolutely brilliant template um, and a really good start of the 10 for, for any um, hold on so just give it a second Boom. Um, and as I said, you know, uh, Mark's done a fantastic job of actually documenting how, how he's how he's gone about doing this. Um, and he's also got a great frequently asked questions page and, and you can even look at the GitHub repository. And, and if any of you want to make a contribution, I'm, I'm sure Mark would be happy to listen to you. But um, just going through it, you know, it straight away gives you. Your, your table information when, when it does yeah there we go giving you your table information so you can see any oh i've got a couple of local date tables in there you know so i probably need to switch switch that off um it's actually telling me the number of tables to be deleted so it makes some great suggestions um i think mark mark's also got some great tool tips in there um probably works better and there we go so what can i do you know um giving you the information so so I think with this challenge is to really take this to the next level. You know, what 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 do we um, document or want to document um, that we could possibly get from from the information that, that Mark's done? So Mark's created a very very comprehensive model here, um, covering a lot lot of bases, um, and you can actually see, you know, um, he 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 spent a lot of time go, going into doing this. Um, obviously, it can be done w without this tool as well, and I'll kind of cover that in a second, but. Uh, a really cool tool, you know, it gives you your measures, um, where your measures are, so you can literally search by a measure, look at the expression, um, yeah, it's highlighted if they're missing a description or if they need attention. Um, so some really cool features, guys, I definitely advise you to have a play, you know, um, and, and there's nothing stopping you guys then, um, you know, ma ma making this your own, um, having a template set up that, that kind of, gives you all of this information, maybe not all of it, um, ch changing the look and feel to, to kind of suit, suit you. Um, yeah, ha have a look guys, uh, really cool uh, tool, but but that is the challenge, you know, um, I, I really wanna get to how you guys are documenting it. Um, are you using a tool such, such as um, the data documenter? Um, yeah, let, let, let's see what you come up with. So one of the other, ideas that I wanted to cover off with you guys. So if I just go back to the, um, and, and this is pretty much the the process that's going on um, in in marks. Um, you know, when, when I hit that button, um, this is pretty much what, what it's doing. Um, Mark has just written a great script and, and is auto, automating that. So first thing first is actually all I need to do is save this as a template file. So PBIT. And then once I've done that, let's save. Uh, template for finance, that makes sense. Uh, I might, might even put document table, document, just, just to be explicit and call it out. Um, 
so if, if you don't know about templates, I, I suggest you have a little read. It's really co really cool thing. Um, you can basically share it, uh, a, a smaller file uh, across everyone, and you don't actually need to send it with, with any data. And so it kind of help, helps from a security point of view as well. Um, so if I just go to, to, to that table, um, so you can see that I've got, I've got this template. And then the first thing, all I need to actually do, right, because a template file is just made up of actually, is just rename the extension or, or change it to a zip file. Um, just accept that as a yes. And then if I extract, um, extract all, uh, I won't extract it into a new folder. I'll, I'll literally just extract it here so we can see it clearly. Um, It'll extract all these files that, that sit within it. Now, just make this bigger for you guys to see. Um, you know, so it's got a diagram layout. Um, and, and at the minute, it's just saying it's a file. Um, you, you've got an XML document in there um, and a version in there. So ju just to kind of give you an idea of some of it. So if I just open this with uh, Notepad, just hit OK. So it's telling me what version of, of Power BI that it was created on. So pretty cool. Uh, but the main main thing you you want to get to right there is the these are JSON files. So you've got the diagram layout and the data model schema. Um, anything with the extension file is actually a JSON file. Uh, and what this data model schema has got is, uh, if I just open it with a notepad so you can see, it is a massive JSON file with absolutely all that in, same information that that Mark had um, in a, in a JSON file. So you know, you, you can literally take out what you want. Um, and as part of this challenge, what I have done is I've thrown all of that information for, for this particular finance report. Um, I want us all to, to use the same report as part of this challenge, um, just, just so that we've got some consistency and then we can compare it. Um, so uh, go back to, to that. So, you know, you, you've got this JSON file with, with all that information in there about, about this particular report. Um, and what I've done, because I know not everyone will be comfortable, is I've actually thrown that into a CSV for you. So as you can see here, uh, and what I will say is that there's a lot in this CSV, right? Uh, I'm not expecting you to model every single thing. You need to kind of come in here, um, have a little play. It, it's really not that complicated. Um, well, I don't think, you know, you've got your tables, um, table names here in, co in column M, uh, column N, sorry. Um, and you can see that, you know, I've got a date, I've got a, a products table, a regions table, and then you've got loads of information uh, associated with that. So it probably does need a bit of cleanup. And as you can see, you know, there's a lot of blanks you can get rid of. Um, so, so have a little play with that if, you, if you're not comfortable um, with, with using an external tool. So, so this resource set will, will be available as part of the challenge. Um, and, and the other suggestion that, 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 that you could actually do is if I just take the data model schema and again, just rename it um, as an actual JSON file, you know, pretty much how you do it with um, a color theme, for example, I can then actually just go into, um, I'll open up a new, new instance of Power BI. Um, for, for those of you that are a little bit more comfortable working with JSON, you, you could actually pass this file um, using Power Query. Um, I, I'm no expert in, in, in passing JS files using Power Query, but um, you know that th there is a connector um, available, so I can quickly show you that. Um, give it a second. Uh, transform. Sorry, I was bashing my arm, sorry. Uh, there we go, JSON, and then just hit connect. Um, and if I just point to that, there you can see, I can, I can see that folder. Uh, if I hit open, um, might give me a buffer error. Yeah, I thought it would. Um, so you can just edit that. Um, and just have a little play with this, you know. Um, like I said, that I, I'm no expert in, in passing. Um, I think I used Unicode twelve hundred. It should do um, J um, JSON, but but have a play. You know, um, you can you can actually start going into it, and you can see you know the tables, um, 
the actual records within that. So, so you can see, you know, that date timetable that, that we've just seen within that is there. So it's just about converting these now into, into tables, individual tables, um, rather than having them as a list. Um, so yeah, ha have a play guys. Um, but I, I don't think passing the JSON or, uh, it is a massive ask in, in this task, especially, you know, when you've got tools that like data marks who, who kind of do that step for you. Um, I, I think the key thing here is, is focusing on that front end. Um, you know, how, how can we make marks, um, model documentation better? How, you know, uh, what, what's missing? Um, uh, how can we have a really comprehensive, um, documentation, um, process that, that actually doesn't, you know, it is reusable. We, we can take it from project to project. It's done once. Um, we learn the process behind it either, you know, as I just shown you, we're, we're saving it as a PBI template and extracting that if, if we don't have access to external tools. Otherwise, um, yeah, just, just use the existing external tools and, and, and actually just um, cha change the background, etc. you know, uh, and make it our own. Um, yeah, hopefully the, the write-up will have a few more details in and around the requirements, but I hope you guys have found this video useful, even in terms of just, you know, if you're trying to find out any information about your model, so you might not be interested in creating uh, full-blown documentation like this, but th there's always some something um, useful lying within these JSON files. So yeah, have a look, let me know. Uh, I'll see you on the other side, guys. Thanks a lot, bye-bye. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like, it really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.